much like many of you, I am a guest here. We are on the indigenous land of the Sunemo First Nation. I honor this place where we are. My heart gives thanks for this farm and all the creatures that live here. Thank you for entering into this space in a mindful way, tuning into this beautiful ecosystem. Almost all the plants here have been planted by students, by kids. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna rotate through some stations. Then we also are gonna enjoy some snacks. We got strawberries to pick, we got muffins to eat, and we have honey to taste. We're going to be talking about seeds today and we're going to be making a little paper pot and uh, we will be planting a pea seed in it. Um, so today we are going to be soil scientists. We're going to look in these bins and take a look at the soil and think about where did that soil come from? and ask yourself, could that soil grow a carrot? I'm pretty sure it might be from a dry environment. Primarily clay. Um, amazing, I loved it. It was really fun. I'm trying to figure out what the soil was. Bats, yes, bats and moths. Okay. Yeah, those are surprising. They are surprising, and they're not very common pollinators around here, but they pollinate flowers that open late in the day or at night. Why do you think pollination is so important? Because it's good for the, all the plants and good for nutrients. enjoying happy memories seeing so many bright interested and enthusiastic faces around but yes I am enjoying this very much because this is a really important place in terms of local food and how we can learn about our environment and help our citizens so thanks for being here everybody and thanks to the organizers I, I want to recognize that we're gathered on the traditional territory of the Snamic First Nation and I too want to express my thanks and gratitude to all of the, the teachers and parents and others and those with food share. Question, what percentage of food is grown on Vancouver Island? I would say less than 5%. Correct. Yeah. Who knows the number? About two. Got it. Yes. <laughs> How do you think the Park Avenue Farm affects the city of Nanaimo? Oh, in a very positive way. It's why the city actually bought the property. Uh, I think you'll probably see over time a multi-use here. Use the agricultural part of it appropriately, preserve the ecologically sensitive areas that can't be developed for any purposes. So uh, this is a real boon to the city. This yeah. was a good purchase. Mm -hmm. This is what you call good public policy. In your class? 18. How did you think of this field trip so far? It was great. I've never really done farming, so it was a good experience. did you like this field trip? Uh, it was amazing, uh, 10 out of 10 if I were to rate it. Thank you! Thank you! On Sunemo Indigenous Lands, the Park Avenue Farm is 0.7 acres of the city-owned property in Harewood, Nanaimo. The Nanaimo Food Share Society runs education and resource opportunities year-round at the site. 